being a little seedy, Dr. Naya clearly didn't get the memo about the house special. Thank you for your concern. I think I'll be all right, provided I neither move nor speak. Position heal thyself. Right, to business. You know what? I'm so bad at this. I'll just give everything away. <laughs> it's a feel-good drama. It is not a soapy. No. It is quite real. Yeah, I think it's a pretty safe bet. I'm always uh, quite close to being a pain in the backside because uh, <laughs> I have this penchant for ad-libbing. Sometimes right. it works, sometimes it doesn't. Then what do we do? Hi all, this is Silas Ram, AsianCultureVulture.com and delighted you could join me. We're going to be talking to the cast members of The Good Karma Hospital, which is a TV series which has just come out in the UK. It's now in its fourth series. It's set in Kerala, but it's shot in Sri Lanka and it's all about The Good Karma Hospital. And there you'll find Dr. Ram Nair, played by Darshan Chariwa, Sister Marie Rodriguez, played by Nimi Haraskama, and the new doctor, the British Asian doctor, Samir Hassan, Sammy. who's played by Harky Bumbra. Let's talk to them and find out more. You know, it's okay. If you want to. Let's talk a little bit about the characters. I mean, who is Dr. Samir Hassan? He appears that everything's going just hunky-dory and all right in his life. Yet there definitely seems to be something bubbling away beneath him. I mean, you're Murray. She's really um, developed over the, the whole four series. And we know a lot more about her, but I think we're still learning. She has a lot to explore. And this year, I get to wear a lot more outfits. Oh, right. You're not just in your nurse outfit. The <laughs> I'm whole just time. in my nurse's outfit. We see a different side of Mari sure. um, this year. And so that's exciting for me as an actor. And also yeah. hopefully, you know, Mari gets to display different elements of herself that she hasn't before. And Darshan yeah. Ram is in good form as a way. So you were supposed to arrive only on the 24th. Which, of course, is today. How has yes. he developed over the, the series and, and where is he now? You know, what happens is when, when, a, when an actor is uh, cast, uh, it is the character that is, uh, is the fundamental thing that he needs to put forth. But then when the writers and the directors, they see the actor uh, kind of, you know, having an osmosis with the character, mm. uh, they also try to bring in uh, a certain of uh, the actor's uh, qualities. So my character uh, is, is uh, thank God, becoming of a, of a man with a sense of humor yes. and uh, <laughs> a man who can keep a, co a poker face and still crack. Uh, very, very nice jokes. Dr. Nikita Sharma, I'm your new junior colleague, but everyone calls me Nikki. His son is away, but he's not still, you know, he is uh, a father figure to a very new doctor who he yeah, recruits. Right. Welcome, Dr. Sharma. My name is Lydia Fonseca. I'm sure the rest of my team will introduce themselves to you individually after we complete morning report. Can I just say how to business? And, and Nimi, what about Dr. Samir Hassan, played by... Um... Parky Bumra, who's come into the series as a new doctor, a new uh, British Asian presence in the in the hospital, as it were. We don't quite know how you're reacting to uh, um, the new doctor. She's normally very closed, isn't she, when it comes to men? But I think what Dr. Samir Haki does in the first episode, the fact that he's willing to put himself at risk to save the life of that girl, I think that totally throws her... Right. She doesn't, I don't think she's looking at him as, you know, the stereotypical man that she's sort of uh, been used to. And I think um, she kind of lets her guard down a bit, but I don't know whether, you know, whether that, whether that's just friendship or not, we'll have to see. Yeah, yeah you're keeping very tight lips about that. Because, <laughs> because you know what? I'm so bad at this. I'll just give everything away. <laughs> if you're delving into Sunday night, like medical drama, on running series, new surgeon, like there might and there's a few single women about there might be a hint of something that may happen romantically. <laughs> I was intrigued that they they very explicitly uh said in the press information that he was a British Muslim doctor and I don't know how far we get into his faith, but there was there was also some reference to his faith and that he's you know spiritual or religious. He has some sort of relationship with his faith, and I think that will be that will come up in the next few episodes of what that relationship is or has been, oh. so to speak. Well, I think that's fantastic for a Sunday primetime drama to be dealing with that in in a in a in a program like this, you know, which is um, 
quite uh, kind of mass mass audience drama. I mean, I think that's that's very brave of the the first. Oh yeah, I, yeah, he's, <clears throat> he's brave, but then at the same time, I think you know, it's like it's it's just more and more um, more and more that you just need to see a, like representation of that's what Britain is. It's all different faiths and yeah. cultures and people come from all different backgrounds, but essentially we're all looking for the same thing and we're all have the same hopes and fears. So mm-hmm. to me, to me you'll, you'll later find out is just the same as everybody else. Oh, thanks. I owe you one. This is something that I was like, so pleased to be a part of and like so grateful to have a go at playing Samir that it's some, some of the, um, some of the acting that I got to do and some of the kind of emotional stuff that came out with, with playing Samir, I've never, never really gone to them depths before as an actor. So what's, what's to come up in like the later episodes is for me, it's going to be really special. It's been lovely to have new actors in and also we they were in lockdown with us. We were all together. So the crew were, you know, in one hotel, we were in another hotel. Right. And it was sad because we couldn't really mix except when we were on set. And normally we all hang out together. It was really strange because you, you get, well, you know, you get the call that you go in and it's like, wow, Sri Lanka for three months. And it's, it's all amazing. You get there. And for the first few weeks, it was quite open. I was incredibly busy doing my stuff. Um, so I was pretty much in every day filming but then there was a period in between of about it's supposed to be a month lockdown but then I think it became a six-week one and yeah it, it did take its toll because it was like if you're on your Todd then and just in a hotel mm-hmm. and you haven't got anywhere to go or out like that but then it became a lovely thing that we all just became a lot closer um, like cast members and crew and stuff and it was a kind of thing that usually when you do go on shows that you'll get quite close but not this close do you know what i mean and it was just it was quite beautiful of how much we kind of looked after each other filming in sri lanka is is something really very different i mean even pre-covid and post-covid right uh, uh, filming there is a is is really a remarkably beautiful experience this was last year towards um august, august yeah september right. october was it rainy i mean that's kind of monsoon time in yeah it was you know with let's admit that there is a climate change issue here because yes, right. every year the monsoon is at a different time oh, and you kind oh. of notice this because right. We film at that time of year. Thunderstorms and, you know, very, very quick, but very heavy showers, uh, especially when we are filming outside, you know, we yeah. are using actual locations. Uh, that is, of course, uh, one of the best things about the show that you you have superb locations in that, well, it, you know. It's one of the charms of the, the whole series is we are watching it Absolutely. in the middle of winter, you know, it's really a, a kind of escapism, but a, a kind of an escapism with, with a lot of realism thrown in, which is kind of, it's a good balance. By the way, have we heard from Dr. Verma? Arrived yesterday, official resignation letter. Yeah, there's somebody on set, I understand, who helped you with the whole, you know, the medical side of things that you could consult. Our medical advisor called Tim, he was really, really good. And just any time, any time that you kind of, have like the like the big big medical procedures i'd just be asking him all the time i think even just all the small details and what have you he'd be really good to go to he, in the first few days it'd be little things of like he wouldn't tell you how to do it but he'd just offer it up as a suggestion of just like saying for think little things like bedside manner how you bring your attention to a patient when you see them like you talk to them and be like you know, like checking everything out and make you know checking their vitals as, at the same time, making them as calm as possible. But yeah, he was really, really good at just all the little technicalities. But then sometimes he'd give you that extra bit of like finesse to it, as adding the uh, you know the, mm. just them little bits of caring that you'd like like to bring. I like the fact that the screen time is very equal between the Asian characters and the you know the, the white characters. The, you know the white Briscoe, and I think that's important in a, a show. This is really prime time drama. That I think is what is refreshing about this show. is It's not a period drama where it's you know where we end up playing the underlings. It's not an upstairs downstairs. This is this is a current modern day TV show um, 
to do with a hospital and it just so happens that it's in Kerala and it just so happens that there are nurses and doctors that are both, you know, um, Caucasian and brown and whatever. And that's not the point of it, is it? It's the stories are what drive the show. Obviously, I have a lot of British Asian friends. Yeah. Um, and a lot of them really appreciate the show for that. They're like, oh, thank God. Thank God, you know, yeah, yeah, you're, yeah. you know, you're not on a side crying because something, you know, the I don't want to, yeah. you know, because no, obviously exactly. those shows, I mean, those kind of stories are really interesting too. Yeah, yeah. But it's just, um, re- for them, it's a refreshing change. The first refreshing thing was that, uh, you know, I was not playing a million to anyone. I was... Uh, a, a part of a regular cast, uh, and uh, you know, I I always love that uh, um, you know that definition of a prime minister that he's first among equals. Yeah. So uh, I am uh, I am among those equals, and you know, Lydia Fonseca may be the prime uh, character, uh, but then we all uh, yeah. are quite uh, up there in a in in quite a small. Uh, tight circle. In the season two, I believe, there were a lot of big names from India who had come down to play uh, right. cameo roles. Mm. Uh, and I mean, we had Shabana Azmi, we had oh, yes. Sony yes. Rajdan, yes. we had yes. Kriti yes. Nawal. We had, we had really a who's who, you know. Yeah. Uh, and uh, they, in fact, uh, pointed out this to me, that uh, were, it, were it 20 years uh, or te- even 10 years earlier, yes. uh, this probably... 15 years earlier, this this wouldn't have been the scene. Would have been and uh, the reason why they rejected a lot of work coming from uh, UK, uh, mm-hmm. being in India, was precisely because the, the kind of the roles that they were looking for were not uh, given to them. This series just doesn't pander to the idea of uh, diversity just for diversity's sake. There is no tokenism yes. uh, mm-hmm. at play here. Mm-hmm. Uh, the characters are real and irrespective of their skin color, it is their stories and their being who they are yeah. that makes them, you know, qualified to be on the show. Welcome to India. Well, fantastic. Thank, thanks so much for your time today. It was brilliant chatting with you. Thanks a lot. And I hope Hello, you get a chance to uh, catch up again uh, on the Good Karma Hospital or something else. Bye, yeah. guys. I miss you. <laughs> See you soon. Bye. See you soon. Bye. Bye.